Well, hi there, music friends. Welcome to Recorder Lesson 4. So get out your recorder and also see if you can find the printout that has a yellow E on it. It looks like this. All right, I've got my handy dandy pencil and let's read this lesson together, shall we? At the top of the page, it says, do you know what pitch this is? And I'm looking at this little box right here and I can see that the dot is on the very bottom line. Hmm, what pitch is that? By golly, it's an E. Let's write an E on the line here. And then the next part says, circle all the E's with a yellow pencil. So I'm looking at all the dots on the staff and I'm thinking, where are the E's? That's up too high. That one's a B. Yup, that one right there on the line. That one is an E. If you have a yellow pencil, that's cool. Circle all the E's with a yellow pencil. If you just have a regular pencil, you can just use a regular pencil. And I'm gonna search through this and find all the E's. How many E's did you find? Yep, I found four E's also. Great job. Now it says, please draw 10 E's on the staff. Right here on this staff, you're going to draw 10 E's. I'm drawing some and I'm drawing them right on the bottom line right here. That's where the E's go. While you're drawing E's on your staff, I'm gonna play an E so you can hear how it sounds. It sounds low. <laughs> to play low E, you can look at this picture here and you need to cover up your thumb and your first three fingers and also two fingers on the bottom. So my left hand is going to cover up all of these holes, including the one in the back, and I'm squeezing them nice and tight. Then my right hand is gonna cover up the two holes on the bottom. So just like you would make a pinch like this, put your thumb on the back and these two fingers in the front. Now you have two hands firmly holding your recorder. If you have a high noise that sounds like this, it means that you're not covering the holes. See, that now I'm covering it. You gotta not let any air sneak out, cover it all the way, okay? Play E with me. E, it's a low note. Very good. This line of music right here says E, 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 and then it keeps going. Can, can we play it together? Let's play it, okay? Look at your music on your music stand. Instruments up, fingers ready, tap, tap, ready, play. Awesome. Let's do it again. One, two, ready, go. Very good. I'm impressed. Nice low ease. Make finger number one and two of your right hand move together like a team. These fingers are going to go up and down together. This music right here says G, G, E, G, G, E. Let's try and make those right hand fingers move together, okay? Keep your thumb on nice and tight. There's a spot for your thumb right behind there. And we're going to play G and E, moving these two fingers. 
tap, tap, ready, go. Very good. If it sounds like this, then that means that you're not covering the fingers all the, covering the holes all the way. G, G, E, one, two, again, go. Very good. Let's take a look at the next part. I see some rhythms right here. What are the rhythms right there? Yeah, and I see some pitches. Oh yeah, you know what? This little fingering chart right here, we can draw an E on. Let's take out your pencil, and I would like you to color in the fingering chart. Okay, get a color in that thumb right there, and color in the first finger. Well, you know which fingers you press down to make an E. Put an E right there. There you go, color those all in. Good. Okay, you can also write down the, the names of the pitches on the staff right here. See, the first one's an E. Next one is, oh, yep, yep, yep. There we go. If you'd like to pause the video um, while you're writing these pitches, you can do that or you can see what I've got so far. I am writing the rhythms right here. See, I've got the one and two, and I'm writing the pitches down here, coloring this in. Go ahead and pause me and work on the worksheet. Okay, did you get all of these pitches written down and this rhythm? and you colored in your fingering chart. Very good. Let's count the rhythm together. It says one and two, three and four, one, two, three. Good, let's count it again. One and two, three and four, one, two, three. Now let's play it, shall we? You need your E fingers. There we go. Tap and tap and here we go. That was pretty good. Let's try it slow, okay? One and two, three and four, here we go. Uh, let's try it fast. One and two, three and four. One, two, ready, go. Great playing so far. Now we're going to learn the song E minor tune. Look at all these funny E's down on the bottom. Oh my goodness. At the very beginning of this music, I see rests. We're going to count rest, rest rest like this. When the music starts, we will wait while the music plays and then we'll start right here after we hear one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then we play. B, G, no, B, A, G, E. Do you see the notes? B is on the line, A is in the space, G is on the line and the new note E is down on the bottom. Let's take a look at each of these notes and, and try and play this song, okay? So first we've got B, then we've got A, then we've got G, and then new note E. Keep your thumb in the back here and these fingers at the ready. 
okay? Because when you get to E, you wanna be ready for it. If this hand is down here, it's gonna miss the, the, the keys, okay? It's gonna miss these holes right here. Yeah, do you wanna hear me play it one time? You can listen and follow along in the music, okay? All right, here we go. minor tune. Now what I want you guys to do is take a look at this music and read carefully each of the notes, okay? Let's read them together. B, A, G, E, B, A, G. And I stopped right there. Let's circle that spot, shall we? What a circle just these two measures right here, okay? Let's play that spot. Play it with me, are you ready? Tap and tap and here we go. Great, let's do that again. One, two, three, four, one, two, Ready, go. Again, one, two, ready, go. Awesome. Look at your music and see how many times does that same pattern happen? Hmm. Well, the next part says B, A, G, E, G, A, B. Hmm, is that the same? No, it's a little bit different. Oh, the next part says B, A, G, E, B, A, G. That's the same. Let's circle that one too, okay? Let's see if that happens anywhere else in this music. Look through your music. Oh, happens here. And it happens here. I circled four patterns that are all just the same. Uh-huh, see that? Those are all the same pattern. Let's play that pattern together. One, two, ready, go. Mm-hmm, yep, yep, same pattern. Okay, um, let's take a look at this part that I have underlined. I'm gonna underline it right there, and I'm going to underline this one right here. See this part? What are the notes right here? What does this say? G, A, B. All right, so we're going to play this spot B, A, G, E, G, A, B. Starting right here. Okay, let's try it. Tap and tap and here we go. Yeah, let's do that again. Tap and tap. And here we go. Nice. Very good. 
Okay, this next section, I'm going to put a dotted line under. See, it's right here. It says G A E. Does that pattern happen anywhere else in this song? Look carefully all through your song and see if that same pattern G A E happens again. Yep, it does right here. Did you find it? Yeah, it's at the end right there. Okay, let's try that pattern. Okay, it goes G A E G A E. All three of these fingers have to work together as a team and you have to aim them so that they go right over the hole. Play with me. Tap, tap, ready, go. Again, ready, go. Wonderful. Okay, we are going to try to play from the beginning of where you start playing. We're gonna skip all those rests and we're gonna start playing right here. We're gonna go through the first line and through the second line and then stop. Let's try it together, okay? One, two, three, four, tap, tap, ready, go. So good. Did you get that tricky part at the end? Okay. Next, we have another line of rests, and this is where we will count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we'll play the song again. And it's exactly the same on the bottom as it is on the top. Okay? It's a pattern. Music has lots of patterns and lots of repeats. That's what makes music so cool. It has patterns. Let's try from uh, measure three, right here. This is measure three. Let's start here and, and play the top line and the next line, okay? We're gonna do that again. Play with me, my friends. One, two, here we go. good. Pause the video and play this song at your own pace and work on it. Work on it lots of times until you feel confident that you can do it, okay? Uh, next, we're going to play along with the music. Okay, E minor melody, are you ready? Playing along with the music. Here we go. that song lots and lots of times. See you later. Bye.